Okay, today's Friday, of course, and it marks the end of the week for many, but it's a start for students in Jackson County. Yeah, the start of the school year, and with this new year comes some changes for students. News 19's Kayla Smith is live from Woodville High School with more about this school year. Kayla? Steve, Jackson County is a growing district and the superintendent says the goal this year is to expand programs and educational opportunities for everyone. After three years of construction, the Kevin Dukes Career and Innovation Academy will open its doors later this semester. Jackson County Superintendent Jason Davidson says the building and 30 acre campus is complete and he hopes students will be able to take advantage of its resources almost immediately. The academy supports fine arts programs like art and theater. It expands STEM opportunities for students, providing spaces like those dedicated to robotics. The facility sits inside the Jackson County Industrial Park and it boasts many career tech programs and related educational tools. Education is the foundation of economic development, so no, no better place to grow the future economy of Jackson County than with the opening of this school and hopefully in the future additional industry, business and industry partners come to this industrial park. We want to target kids that have interest and abilities and passions in certain areas, and if we don't offer those programs, be able to adapt and change and grow programs that we currently don't offer. We want every kid in Jackson County to find their niche. The superintendent says he's excited to have dedicated spaces for the county's gifted programs and robotics teams this year, and that teachers and administrators will have a lot of hands-on opportunities to work with students. Superintendent Davidson says Jackson County Schools will offer additional tools for success at every school this year, free breakfasts and lunches, and school supplies for each student. Reporting live this morning, Kayla Smith, News 19.